10 years in the making. The complexity of it was recognized right back at the start of the 4LM project. It just feels like it's been a massive effort that's finally come to fruition and it's almost within our reach now. At the heart of London's underground, a complex transition is quietly underway. This is the most complex signalling deployment in the Four Lines Modernisation Programme, a milestone that bridges legacy and modern systems in one of the world's most demanding metro environments. No room for error. Seamlessly connecting two control systems across two generations of tech, the Jubilee Line Celtrack CBTC and the PMI interlocking system at Neasden, London's largest depot is not just technically demanding, it's operationally unforgiving. Such a milestone because this reflects the deployment of Celtrack CBTC in the most complex area on 4LM. Brownfield's very difficult. You've got an existing system that we have to bring in our system in parallel. It's almost like open heart surgery. This upgrade was not just about technology, it was about trust. Our long-standing relationship with TFL enabled joint decision-making, live risk management, and a shared commitment to operational continuity. Thousands and thousands of technical requirements that had to be developed, implemented, and tested. It's really of a scale and complexity that would warrant it being a project in its own right. We worked as one team with one mission to deliver this project for a successful passenger service for both the passenger and for the London Underground operational team. Delivering this in a live operational setting required staging and software precision, live testing in a high-stakes environment, and a collaborative approach across teams in the UK, Canada and Portugal. I think in many signaling projects across the world, this is probably the first time where we mix together moving blocks signaling with fixed block signaling. That was the big challenge. So always keeping the safety in, in mind because we knew that when we implement this type of operation, it wouldn't be easy. The result? Trains that run closer together, more reliable journeys for passengers, and smarter control over one of the busiest stretches in the capital. It's a step forward for London and modern rail operations. The overall 4LM project is, is going to be extremely beneficial to the passengers, to the customers of London Underground. What we hope is that they get their trains delivered to them on time every morning from that depot and the trains can go back into the depot on time at the end of the day and that no one really notices anything. The people will not realise that they are riding a new system, but as they go, day by day, in their commuting and their usage of the trains and the station, they will feel how comfortable is riding a system which is reliable. This wasn't just an upgrade project. It is proof that legacy infrastructure can be modernized, live, and with minimum disruption in one of the most complex environments in the world. We've worked with TfL for about 30 years. It's all this making a team and that's what brings us being successful in what we are delivering. The team should be really proud of what they have achieved. I'm most proud of the people that have been involved in this milestone and got us to where we are. Our teams bring over three decades of experience delivering cell tracks signaling in complex brownfield settings. A symbol of progress, this milestone is one of many steps in our mission to transform rail operations, infrastructure, and the passenger experience. From global systems knowledge to local execution, we deliver future-ready solutions that meet today's demands.